Welcome to our introduction video highlighting some of the great features available in Stompbox Band. For those not familiar with Stompbox, it's an app that lets you group various audio effects into a virtual effect rack, which can be saved as a patch file. When in landscape mode, Stompbox displays a virtual foot controller to help simplify the task of changing patches, just as you would with a physical hardware foot controller. Stompbox Band builds upon the original Stompbox, adding several new and exciting features. Probably the single biggest reason for choosing Stompbox Band is its ability to utilize audio interfaces with multiple inputs and outputs. You can quickly access these inputs and outputs using the Input Panel tab at the top of the display. Simply drag down to reveal the current routing. If you own a multi-channel audio device, you can set up two totally independent effects racks. Each rack is able to process audio data from a selected mono or stereo audio input channel and pass this on to any available audio output. We call this dual channel mode. This mode allows two band members to have their own configurable effects racks and their outputs routed back to on-stage amplification if required. If you're a single user, you can make use of the ability to run your instrument through two different effects racks at the same time. You can send the output of each rack to independent amplification or mix the output using a single output channel. You can access additional features using the Configure Dual Channel button, which displays a rack switching and configuration dialog. You can toggle between the two racks by simply tapping on the rack of choice. Use the volume knobs beneath the racks to change the respective audio levels of each rack. A single user in dual channel mode also has a dynamic switching mode, which can switch between racks depending on the volume level of the incoming audio signal. You can set a trigger level or threshold and use the attack time to control how quickly stomp box switches between the two racks. You might, for instance, have the same patch loaded in each rack, but with one utilizing a digital delay. This would result in loud notes and phrases going through the delay and quiet ones remaining unchanged. Normally, we use the virtual foot controller to change patches, but this can also be done using MIDI and a real hardware foot controller. To simplify things even further, Stompbox also features song mode, allowing various program settings to be saved in a song file. In song mode, each song can have up to six predefined buttons to quickly change patches removing the need to remember the bank and switch numbers, or fiddle with pop-up menus. You can quickly assign patches to these buttons and even switch between them using your foot controller. So you might set up button 1 for verse, 2 for chorus, and 3 to 6 for other sections of your song. Then utilize this standard throughout all your songs. Another new feature is the Chord Explorer, which can be accessed from the side tab. This is a useful feature for storing and auditioning guitar chords for a particular song. It is also a very useful learning tool for those learning to play the guitar. You can preview the chords using the fast and slow strum buttons. The arpeggiator mode is extremely useful for auditioning effects whilst adjusting various settings. You can assign up to 8 chords which are then saved to your song file. 